Hi, my name is Megan Edwards of Focus Communications, and today we're getting the latest update from Lithium Bank, which trades on the Toronto Venture Stock Exchange under the symbol LBNK. Joining me today for the first time is Kevin Peepgrass, Chief Operating Officer of the Lithium Bank. Kevin, thanks for being here with me on behalf of Lithium Bank. How are you doing today? Well, I'm doing very well, thank you. Uh, how are you doing? I'm great. I'm great. Um, so as an introduction, could you please provide us with a general overview of Lithium Bank's portfolio of projects in Western Canada? Yeah, sure. Uh, you know, Lithium Bank, we, we started out um, quietly in 2019 and we took our time to evaluate the geology of Western Canada and went out and acquired very strategic pieces of ground in Alberta that we felt had large potential to host massive lithium resources. So currently hold 3.2 million acres in Western Canada, 2.9 of that is in Alberta, and uh, about 326,000 acres in Saskatchewan. And before we jump into the lithium bank projects, I'd like to hear your thoughts on, on recent news from E3 Lithium and Imperial Oil, who today announced a strategic agreement on a lithium pilot plant project, a transformative partnership for lithium brine space in Alberta. What do you think about that? Well, I think it's fantastic news, and I congratulate E3 Lithium on on making that deal. I think it's uh, it's a it's a fantastic news that that just shows the potential um, that Western Canada has in Alberta and Saskatchewan, for that matter, of of being uh, you know entering the lithium space in a big way. Um, that strategic investment, uh, you know, a, a big player like Imperial will, will do due diligence and see the see the potential there. Um, I think it's interesting that it's. Uh, you know, the Leduc once again plays a pivotal role in energy transition in uh, mm -hmm. in Alberta, where Leduc was the discovery well in Alberta, and, and the Leduc formation is showing its potential again in the lithium space. So it's great news. Now let's discuss your flagship uh, boardwalk project a little bit more. Last year, the company completed its maiden resource estimate on the project. Uh, could you give us some highlights of the resource and perhaps how boardwalk compares to other lithium brine projects around the world? Sure, yeah. Uh, Lithium Bank put out a, our resource estimate about 2021. Um, it hosts 5.97 million tons of lithium carbonate equivalent uh, in a single geological formation known as uh, the Sturgeon Lake Leduc Reef. Um, you know, the Leduc Reef at Sturgeon is, is 50 kilometers long north south and at 30 kilometers at its widest. It's also 300 meters thick, um, fairly consistently across it. Uh, it certainly ranks as one of the largest uh, resources in the world. Um, and, and it's important to note that uh, you can see from the map on the screen, Lithium Bank hosts 100% of the mineral permits in the area. Um, and uh, the overlapping uh, uh, petroleum and natural gas permits as well are, are held by a single oil and gas company as well. And we've received a few questions on the Leduc formation in Western Canada. From a geological sense, can you provide an overview of this setting uh, that makes the structure an ideal candidate for lithium brine reserves? Well, the, the Sturgeon Lake Reef at Boardwalk is not actually a structure. It's more of a, a stratigraphic trap. So the Leduc Reef, if think about it as a coral reef setting, um, obviously this is millions of years ago. Uh, it's a very porous rock and it's overlain by uh, a cap rock, known, uh, mudstone known as a cap rock. Mm -hmm. So number three in this cross section is, is in fact the Sturgeon Lake Reef. Um, and it's, you can see it's overlain by two and, and three B as well. And these are cap rocks, uh, very impermeable rocks. So the water has been trapped in there for a very long time. And the oil and gas would have migrated upwards to the pinnacle of the reef due to uh, pressures underground. And so that led to uh, discovery of oil and gas um, in these in these core reefs. And looking at some of the maps from previous news releases, you can see that this was quite an active region for oil and gas. Um, could you give us a little bit of history on the district and how you've been able to use historical data in any development of the project? Yeah, so um, important to note here from this map, you can see there, there's been over 500 oil and gas wells that have produced from the Leduc. Uh, at Sturgeon Lake at Boardwalk. And you know that that amount of data lends to huge data set, which is which is critical for our project. It gives us geology, it gives us wire logs, uh, it gives us uh, geophysics, 
permeability, porosity, all these things are critical in, in developing a resource and confidence in a resource. Mm -hmm. um, so this, this, this is a unique project where we don't have to drill, we can acquire publicly available data and save quite a bit of money and put all that effort into developing it. So just to add on to that, um, you know, there's a high level of confidence in our resource because we've sampled, well, historically, there's been over 65 uh, wells sampled across the, the whole margin of the resource, um, giving lithium uh, lithium samples. So there's quite a lot of data on, on the lithium side as well. And we've also sampled four wells that you can see in yellow there uh, as early as 2021 that we'll have those those numbers out shortly. And what about next steps? Can you run us through what investors can expect from the company in the near future at Boardwalk and your other projects as well in, in Western Canada? Yeah, no, Lithium Bank, we've been very busy. Um, you know, we have a large land package and we've been working uh, other projects in parallel uh, with the Boardwalk project. Um, we're working diligently towards our PEA. Um, you'll see news, I guess, um, as we work through uh, certain milestones to get to the PEA of, of the samples that we've we've taken, uh, DLE test work, as well as uh, uh, geological updates as we work through the massive data sets um, and, uh, that will lend towards a resource update uh, for Sturgeon Lake for at Boardwalk. Our other projects um, are uh, Fox Creek area project, also a Leduc project um, south of Sturgeon Lake and Boardwalk. It's also a Leduc. Uh, it has very good grades. Uh, we've recently been consolidating the land package and you'll see news about similar things that uh, we'll be building towards a resource update and uh, all of the Saskatchewan projects. We're working on them in parallel to gather the available geological information, um, working with uh, service providers to get uh, lithium samples from the water and uh, as well. Well, thanks again for your time today, Kevin. And we definitely look forward to having you on again soon to hear more from the company. Yeah, I look forward to it. Thank you. Have a good day. You too.